What's up, Axie fam? Potter Peter here. Season 17 has begun and everybody is trying to get a head start. In this video, I will discuss Axie damage numbers to help you understand where do all these numbers come from. To start with, there are 5 sources of damage modifiers that can affect the damage numbers you see on your screen. Let's begin. First up is stab damage. If you are an avid Pokemon fan, you should know what stab is. Same type attack bonds. Basically, if you use the same class as the body of your Axie, then you will deal 10% bonus damage. In other words, if you have a plant Axie such as this one, if you use a plant card, then you will get 10% bonus damage. In this case, if my Axie uses Bamboo Clan, he deals an extra 10%, so the Bamboo Clan deals 88 damage instead of the usual 80. This works for any class using their own class cards. Second type of bonus damage is type advantage. Dealing damage to classes you are strong to will give you 15% bonus damage, but attacking classes you are weak to will make you deal 15% less damage. To make it easier to remember the class advantage and disadvantages, we can group them together into their strong attributes. First is the tank group, made up the plant, reptile, and dusk. Next up is the critical group which is the beast, bug, and mech. Lastly is the speed group which is the bird, aqua, and then dawn. Technically, dawn is not a high speed axi but it is part of the group. So to explain this chart, tanks are strong against the speed classes, the speed classes are strong against the crit classes, and then the crit classes are strong against the tank classes. While inversely, tanks are weak against the crit classes, the crit classes are weak against the speed classes, and the speed classes are strong are weak against the tank classes. So what does this all mean? Well, if you are using a bird card or a speed type against a plant axie, you will deal 15% less damage. Inversely, if you are using a plant card against a bird axie which is a speed type, you will deal 15% more damage. So the third source of damage modifiers is buffs. So some cards will give your axie some attack buffs or debuffs. So examples of this is fish hook and cuckoo which gives your axie attack plus. So having an attack plus buff will give your axie 20% bonus damage for your next attack. Having 2 times attack buff will give your axie bonus 40% damage for your next attack. So this buff stacks additively and will only trigger for one attack. So the fourth source of damage modifier is from card bonuses. Some cards will trigger bonus damage when you meet a certain criteria. So one of the most popular cards right now is Thorny Caterpillar which deals 130% damage to debuff targets. So if your opponent is poisoned, has attack minus, or, or other debuffs, then this card will deal 30% additional damage. So this is important to remember when planning out your Axie team, try to ensure that you can activate such bonus effects for your team. Lastly is combo damage. When you play at least two cards on the same maxi, you perform a combo and deal bonus damage based on your skill stat. Now, formula is your base damage multiplied by the skill stat divided by 500. An axi skill stat is based on the axi body, so no matter the different parts, the skill stat would always be the same depending on your axi class. Shown in this table is the percentage increase damage that will be multiplied to be to the base attack card used to calculate the extra damage. It is important to note that even if you play more than two cards, the combo damage you receive is the same. It's a lot, I know, but they are actually quite easy to remember. Let's take out a few examples to get the hang of it. Let's take a look at this example. We have a plant axe using a single plant card with a base damage of 90. With stab bonus, we add 10% damage, so we get 90 times 110% equals to 99. Quite straightforward, actually. Okay, so next we have a reptile using a bird and a plant card versus an aqua. First the bird card. Since the attacking axe is a reptile, we have no stab bonus. And bird versus aqua is neutral, so no type bonus as well. Since we have no stab damage, no bonus damage due to type, 
no buffs and no bonuses from our cards the only damage we have here extra is the combo damage so combo damage is calculated at 31 times 130 base attack divided by 500 and the total we get is 8.06 so our base attack is 130 plus 8.06 equals to 138 note that axie damage is always rounded down so we get 138 let's see how this pans out there we go exactly 138 next is the plant card hotbot again we don't have stab bombs but since plant is strong against aqua we have a 15 percent damage bonus from type advantage so again let's calculate the combo damage as 31 over 500 times 90 equals to 5.58 the total damage would then be in 90 times 1.15 plus 5.58 equals to 109.08 then round it down to 109 let's see how it pans out 109 as told so the main thing to note here is that the first four bonuses stack multiplicatively while the combo damage is only added afterwards next example we take a look at damage buffs we have an aqua with one stack of attack bonus using four aqua cards against a beast so here we have both stab bonus and type advantage plus we have a singular damage buff so first we calculate combo damage as 35 over 500 times 60 equals to 4.2 then total damage would be 60 times 110 from stab bonus times 115 percent from type advantage times 120% from the damage buff plus 4.2 the total would be 95.28 rounded down to 95 remember that Axie only does the rounding down after every damage bonus has been accounted for now let's take a look at that first attack so 95 as advertised the second attack does not have the 20% attack buff bonus Therefore, the damage is calculated as 60 times 110% times 115% plus 4.2 equals to 80.10, rounded down to 80. So let's take a look at the second attack. Okay, that's 80, also again as advertised. So for our last example, let's take a look at an aqua unleashing a full combo with 3 attack damage buff against a reptile. So again, we have stab bonus because our aqua is using all aqua cards but this time we have type disadvantage against the reptile let's start by first calculating the combo damage for both cards so we have 35 over 500 times 130 for piranha which is equal to 9.1 then 35 over 500 times 120 equals to 8.4 for blue moon for the first attack, our damage will be calculated as 130 times 110% for the stab damage times 85% for the type disadvantage times 160% for the 3 times damage buff plus 9.1 combo damage. Our total would be at 203.58 rounded down to 203. Then let's take a look. So 203 damage as advertised. For the second attack, a little spoiler here, we will score a lucky crit. So the critical strike is 200% bonus damage. Therefore, our total damage would be 130 times 110% times 85% times 200% plus 9.1 equals 252.2. Then we round that down to 252. Okay, so as advertised. Lastly, our third and fourth attack. The damage would be the same and is calculated as 120 times 110 percent times 85 percent plus 8.4 equals to 120.6 rounded down to 120. Let's take a look. Okay. Okay, both cards deal the same damage as explained. Okay guys, thank you. And there we have it, a complete guide on calculating the damage numbers in Axie. So just remember that the first four bonuses stack multiplicatively. So stab bonus, type advantage, uh, damage buff, and the card bonus, they stack multiplicatively, and then you add the combo damage at the end. 
also do remember that the damage numbers always round down but the rounding down only happens after all bonuses have been applied including the combo damage so i hope this helps you guys in calculating damage and help you win more in arena in a future video i will hope to create a guide on critical chances so season 17 has begun uh, i wish the best for everyone and let's go